Okay, as you can see by the title of the blog entry for today, and if you want to go to this article, which I'm not going to go to at this point, you just scroll down to the source there, and uh, you'll be able to read this for yourself, where he declares the New York City terrorist who declared Allah is God before running down a bunch of people and killing them. He said it's lunacy to kill people in the name of our Lord, but the problem here is that uh, Allah is not the Christian God. It's not our Lord. I mean, it's expected. This Jesuit Pope is using the deaths of innocent people as a way to further sanction and puff up Islam as a religion of peace so as to push his long prophesied agenda. I mean, by stating the terrorists that kill in the name of Allah are killing in the name of the Christian God is the real lunacy here. Not only do Muslims repeatedly declare Jesus Christ to be nothing more than a prophet, the Vatican-inspired Quran's description of Allah is by no means the same description we see of the God in the Bible. And yes, this Pope, most Protestants, and even the leadership of the Seventh-day Adventist Church declare the word Allah is to be defined as God in English. But that, my brothers and sisters, is nothing more than a bold-faced lie. And I can easily prove it. Now, what I'm about to say, I already shared in two videos that I did back in 2011, wherein I posted some SDA church leaders claiming that the name of Allah was the same as the title of God in English. But go to any online version of the Quran and do a search in that book, and you will find something quite amazing. Now, before I share this, notice that no matter what website you try this on, they're all going to be different because they keep changing the Quran for obvious reasons. And I did this search on a few websites to double check all this, but I will only do this on two for the sake of brevity. One Islam website says the word God comes up 232 times in the Quran, and another one says it comes up 915 times. When searching out the name of Allah, one Arabic website says it comes up 2,123 times, and another says it comes up 7,765 times. But that's to be expected. I mean, after all, Rome wrote the Quran, and they must keep changing it to try and keep it legit in the minds of those they control in modern time. Not unlike the bogus Christian Bibles with their many corrupted versions floating around Christendom today. If you notice, every one of them, except the King James Bible, has a copyright in them. Because there's fiction in those books. But my obvious point is this. The Pope, the Protestants, and the Seventh-day Adventist leaders are lying. I mean, if Allah was only an Arabic title for the English word God, as they adamantly claim, why, I ask, do they use both titles in the Quran? I mean, shouldn't the word Allah be the only word used whenever they speak of their God cover to cover? I mean, they're simply lying here. In fact, check out this clip of a Seventh-day Adventist pastor named Dwight Nelson that I posted some years ago. Check it out. It starts at 4.16 in the video. You might want to... I mean, you can watch the whole video, of course. I mean, I go into some pretty good detail here, but just check this out. What if the Spirit, the mighty Spirit of Allah... By the way, I got some letters from viewers after that last teaching. And one viewer said, don't you know that the, that the name Allah... Is a name for Lucifer? Oh, I hope you never, I hope you never, 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 never embrace that. Allah, listen carefully now. Allah is closer to Elohim, the Hebrew name for God, than is our English word God. In fact, hold on to your seats. The English name God is a Nordic pagan God. We've taken a pagan God's name and we said, that's the name of our God. And we all call him God. That's a pagan the Nordic pagan myths. So don't you ever get pushed into the corner where you're saying Allah is a demonic name. Allah is the name of the living God. Allah okay, so there you go. I mean, this is insanity, but this is the end times. And by the way, this video, this sermon he wrote and spoke came two years after the Seventh-day Adventist Church started pushing Islam upon their flock as per obvious Vatican order, because after the Vatican made statements publicly, all the churches started doing it, including the SDA church. This pastor openly lies on camera here. I mean, the basic reality in all this is, even if they never used the term Allah and only used uh, you know, the same biblical terms for God as we see in the Christian Bible, and if the God of the Bible and, and Allah were one and the same as the Pope and his cohorts keep claiming, then just to name a few out of dozens of strange and very offensive doctrines found in the Quran, why does Allah tell Muslims to beat their wives if they disobey? Why are Muslims' wives declared to be slaves to their husband? And then why does Allah teach Muslims to kill Christians by beheading them? I thought Allah and the Christian God were one and the same. 
you know, I can go on and on for hours here, of course, but because there's many statements in the Quran that describe Allah and his in how his bloodthirsty will for his followers move them to commit everything from honor killings of their very own children to this brainwashed terrorist running people down in New York City for the glory of Allah. By their fruits, we know plainly that Allah is not the God of the Christian Bible. But that will not stop the man of sin in Rome, who has his prophesied duty set before him for his dying God so as to ready the troops of hell against the real Christians on that day that they surround the obedient bride of Christ. But as we know, not only will their weapons fall useless at their sides, their precious Vatican will burn and make all of them weep until the very day they all turn to ash under the soles of our feet. Thank you for watching. God bless.